Right, so out here we've got turbo on top of the engine and this is the actuator arm and the actuator and we just need to pop this little circlip off and see how free that arm is so I'm going to get some gloves and some tools and we'll do that now right so I've got a little pick and I'm just going to try and do this without dropping it because that wouldn't be ideal there we go and this should just slide off and yeah that is yeah a bit notchy there's a bit of resistance there it's not a slick movement like it should be sort of there it'll go to there easy but then you've got to ah, put a bit of force behind it to um, to get it to, to open fully or close fully whichever way it operates right so I may, may as well leave that off for now because the next thing we're going to have to do is take this heat shield off. So we'll just crack these bolts off. Try and get this heat shield off. Some tens and some eights. Nice. Surprised these aren't seized in. There's one down the back there. Gonna have to get a ratchet spanner, I think, for that. Oh, this is nice. Oh, usually they're crusty as hell. And you have to just rip them off and they don't go back on. But that is delicious. Oh, yes. Oh. this come out of the way I think it does right so some clips in here that have to come out and then I think this does it slide out of the way Somehow, if that's given us any room, I don't think it has. Never mind. Or is it? Maybe just enough to squeeze right. that past. Just going to dub D all of these. soak for a little bit and I think I'm going to drop the downpipe because that looks easy there's um, a bolt there I think there'll be one on the other side of the of the cap and there's them two and hopefully if there's a flexi we should be able to get enough movement on it just to slip underneath underneath here with some uh, oven cleaner see what happens I mean worst case we'll have to whip the, the manifold off strip the turbo and clean it that way but yeah I think this is doable I mean you can hear that that's not as it should be yeah so I think we'll uh, we'll get this sorted Right, we're underneath at the jag. And I think what we're going to do, we'll bolt this flexi pipe here. I've got these two doused in uh, dub D alternative. And then there's two up here. 
got them doused as well. We'll get this flexi pipe out of the way. And then there's a 10 mil there. And there's another one there. And that's sort of holding that cat to the block, if you will. And obviously we've got the four up the top, which are soaking. And then I'm hoping this will move out the way. It might come up the top, might come down here. Not sure yet. And then on the turbo, there's a that 13 there oil feed and then there's two 8 mils there for the oil return this jubilee clip for the, uh, the high pressure side and then this oh, sort of that pipe you can see there it's like uh, into the turbo but we'll see that better from up top so I'll go back up top, we'll undo the stuff up there and then uh, come back down here. So we've got 15mm, 3 8 with an extension and a 3 8 ratchet. Just undo these. Right, that's them far. Now if we move around. Obviously we need to unplug this electronic actuator and then this is the, the low pressure side, the air going into the turbo, so we need to undo this clip and pop that off. So that's that, just tuck that out of the way for now and then a set of pliers, some of these and let's Grip this clip. And hopefully, this pipe will come out nice and easy. After. We might have to undo this clip here as well. So that's all going to come as one. Piece, I think, by the looks of it. So that's that off. There we are. She's off. So, just got that high pressure pipe there. This one. Jubilee's facing the wrong way. Excellent, and then the two feed and return lines for this uh, turbo, and then uh, yeah, unbolt the manifold. So there's no play in it. I think it is just. I think it's, it must be variable vein. I think they're starting to seize up. So we'll whip it off, and uh, hopefully, a bit of. Uh, bit of loving and uh, should be right. Back underneath I'm just gonna try and crack these off. Is it captive? Yes it is. Excellent. Oh music. Right. Let's Ooh. try this side. Fucking hell. Ah, woo! Keep these nuts just under the satchel stand because they're not going to be going anywhere. And let's try and crack this one. <laughs> fucking hell. <sighs> oh, fucking ran off my phone. Don't know how good that view is. <laughs> and that should hopefully separate. Look at that. Maybe a new ceiling ring on there. I'll just paste it up, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. But we need to do these front two now. Up here. If I can uh, yeah. Oh yeah, if I balance this on here, 
Look at that. Oh, what a view you've got there. Ben's eye view. Oh, that wasn't even that tight. Wicked. And this is ready to drop almost now. Yeah, that's that one off. So, look at that. Lovely. Fucking hands are shit up now, though. Bottom of the cat there, look. And then the uh, flexi pipe. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. So now we're on this 10 mil, that 10 mil, and then this should be free to move. But I don't know if there's enough space to actually get it out. So we'll have to uh, see what happens. I've just cracked them off. And now we'll uh, take them right out. Dropped a bit. Maybe up the top, perhaps. Right, this uh, this cat isn't going to come out, but it is loose, so we can move it side to side to get access to the uh, to all the manifold bolts. So I'll just go under and have a look and see what size they are. Get them all cracked off. Right, I'm looking up here, and that there. That's your manifold bolt, one of them, looks like a 13, but also we've got an EGR cooler there that I didn't see to start with. So that'll have to come undone, two 10 mils there as well. One's easy, one not so easy, but if we undo that there, it saves undoing that and, uh, and dropping coolant. It's actually pretty clean up here. 166,000 miles and the fucking not a drop of oil is leaking well 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 impressed not bad not bad right change of plan gonna have to bring that cooler out with me fucking with the turbo that 10 mil look at that just cracked me fucking socket I've nearly dropped it in my face, but look at this. Snap on. What a lot of shite. So we're going to have to drop some coolant, I'm afraid. Balls. Right, we've uh, nearly lost daylight, but I've managed to... <sighs> Rest all this turbo out. Probably doesn't help. But this EGR cooler is still attached. But that's the bolt that's cracked two of my sockets. So I guess it was staying put. But let's get it on the bench and I'll uh, I'll show you where all the bolts go so you know which ones you've got to undo if you're uh, attempting this yourself. Uh, there was no way I could film it and have my hands in there and try and undo them at the same time. You just wouldn't be able to see anything. I needed two hands so I wouldn't have been able to hold the camera. But we'll get it to the bench and I'll show you. Right then, so imagine this still bolted to the car. Obviously a manifold here, turbos there, EGR cooler. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to have is, on the manifold itself, you've got three 13s, and then the innermost nuts, are uh, they're 15s, and then you've got two 13s here, and then on the, the passenger side, the gearbox side, you're going to have this 8mm to take out, which will get this pipe sort of out the way. And then you'll need this 10mm off, this 8mm off, 
And then under this little bracket, there's another 13. So all these will be removed. These two, then these three. And that's your manifold free from the engine. Uh, and then on the turbo itself, you've got this feed, oil feed, which is a 13 mil. Um, and that'll stay, or it should stay in the pipe. Um, be careful you don't lose the washers. Uh, and then the return, two 8 mils on the flange, sort of facing downwards to the floor. Uh, and then with this one, I had to leave this cooler attached because uh, this 10 mil here cracked two of my sockets. So I've had to do it a bit of a ball achy way. Um, so I did remove this pipe where it goes into the thermostat housing. Uh, and then this pipe where it goes to, I think there's like a water coolant heater underneath somewhere. Uh, I had to remove that. Um, if yours hasn't got an EGR delete on it, you will need these two 8 mils out. And then that uh, EGR pipe removing as well. As it happened, mine had the delete on it, so we were all right. Just made it more hard work, wriggling it out of the engine bay. And then obviously, as you saw at the start of the video, there's 415s there, which hold the downpipe on. I would recommend taking the flexi off as well, as I have done. Uh, and then there's a 7 mil Jubilee clip. Yours may be a different size, I don't know, on this boost pipe. Get that just off and out the way. And then I showed you this one, that was just a, one of these spring clips. And then that was that out of the way. Unplug the actuator. And then that should be that. If there's anything I have forgotten, I'm sure uh, somebody will let me know. But yeah, that is the turbo removed. <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, the Carl Lovers channel.